Time now to talk winners and losers on Wall Street. We have financial expert Rob Black joining us this Wednesday morning. Rob, on a day where all eyes are on the Fed waiting to see what they decide about whether they're going to raise inflation uh, or interest rates or not. I'm looking at the markets. It's a little bit mixed. What's your sense? Only mixed because United Healthcare is kind of sticking it up on the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Otherwise, it's a pretty good day mm. uh, with a lot of participants, two winners to every loser. Uh, Jerome Powell's coming out at 11 a.m. He's going to talk about consumer prices and producer prices. And yesterday we saw consumer prices drop to 4% inflation. Not a great number, but it's moving in the right direction. Producer prices dropped three tenths of a percent today. So that's definitely moving in our favor. NASDAQ's up 29% for the year, the Russell 2000. That's a lot of small companies. They're basically saying, we don't see a recession at the end of this year because they're up 8.4% in the last two weeks. Um, so that's what we're going to see at 11 o'clock uh, this morning. Uh, Jerome Powell's going to uh, release a statement. 1130, he's going to get in front of the press and answer some questions. Um, some big headlines overseas. The European Union's telling Google, we may need you to break up your ad technology. Oh. That would be good for shareholders. Um, when really? you're called a monopoly, it's typically a good thing okay. uh, on Wall Street. And uh, I don't know if you have Sonos speakers, but they're cutting 7% of their workers down in Santa Barbara. That's about 130 people. Um, just not great times for computer accessories these days. Yeah, uh, I don't have it, but I, I remember seeing it at Best Buy, the, like the sound bars and stuff like that, right? Yeah, they're wireless yeah. speakers. Um, so it took away those old copper wires that we had to plug in speakers. Yeah. And uh, they're pretty cool, but, yeah. you know, Apple's got them now, Google's got them, so and, I don't know how relevant they are. And before we move on to the next topic, real quickly, I guess Bud Light no longer the the top-selling beer, huh? Yeah, pardon my Spanish when I say Modelo Especial is 8.4% of the sales now. Bud Light's dropped to 7.5% tied towards the boy, the Cots, uh, on one of their recent marketing campaigns. Interesting. Okay. And then we just did a story recently about how prices for homes in California have started to come down a little bit. But now I'm seeing low housing supply could put a squeeze and bring home prices right back up again. This well, is a crazy statistic. Yeah. Out of all the mortgages out there, 92.9% are at 6% or less. Mm. And rates now are around 7%. Um, for me, I, I, I couldn't give up my 3% mortgage or my 2.75% mortgage. I couldn't stomach going um, into a 6% mortgage. Yeah. It would just be too tough. So there's no inventory. It's dwindling. Listings are down 39% since pre-pandemic numbers. Uh, demand is fall. Demand for homes falls when inventory uh, and borrowing cost, when inventory drops and yeah. borrowing cost rises. So um, there's just no demand right now. It's, it's tough and it's expected to create a squeeze for the houses that are for sale up about 5% more for the rest of the year. Interesting. Okay. And then lastly, uh, I didn't really, is, is the flash coming out this weekend or when is it coming out? Because there's been a lot it's of buzz. I've been noticing the marketing has been going up and up and up. Yeah, um, but not marketing with Ezra Miller. That's mm -hmm. worthy of note, and I'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Warner Brothers needs a hit because their last two big movies were flops. Uh, Black Adam and Shazam 2 pulled in under $500 million with awful reviews. Uh, Warner Brothers has got a lot of problems internally right now with CNN and other products. Um, <clears throat> but Ezra Miller uh, goes by the pronouns they, them. Um, is in a lot of hot water, mm. violently choking a fan on video, arrested at a karaoke bar, accused of grooming minors, a home burglary, stealing alcohol. Um, so they can't put him on the late night talk shows. Of course, there are no late night talk shows right now because the writer's strike. Nah. Um, but the, the cool thing for you and me will be seeing Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck back as Batman in the movie. And uh, we got a couple more superhero, superhero movies coming. We have from DC. Um, we're going to get Superman. We're going to get Batman. We're going to get another Supergirl movie. Uh, Blue Beetle comes out, I believe, in August. And Aquaman, the oh, part the two, comes one. out in yeah. uh, December. So between now and then, they've got a few, uh, a few franchises. And I guess the whole thing gets rebooted, right? Because they've got a new head right. of their DC universe. So. James Gunn, who did uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy right. 1, 2, and 3, uh, has taken over his studio head, and he will make some quality movies. There will be no Shazam 2s in his uh, catalog coming out uh, in the next few years. Fascinating. Okay, and then lastly, before we go, tell me a little bit about this Snoop Dogg teaming up with uh, Jack in the Box. I found this kind of funny. It's interesting because I wouldn't go to Jack in the Box, and I wouldn't talk about Jack in the Box, but because you throw Snoop Dogg on it, I'm talking about it. Yeah. Um, Fourteen dollars, you get a Jack in the Box uh, munchie meal. I think that's obviously being tied towards Snoop Dogg's reputation for doing <laughs> a little marijuana. Uh huh. Uh, but it's fourteen dollars for a chicken sandwich, a taco, a brownie, which sounds delicious, 
um, a soda and uh, medium fries. So it seems pretty expensive to me. I'm not the biggest Jack in the Box fan as far as quality goes, but what do I know? Um, maybe one night I'll do some medicinal marijuana and mean you can go get some a munchie meal. I was going to say, the, you have to be in a particular state of mind to throw together a chicken sandwich, a taco, and a brownie. I think that yeah, only taco. sounds good when, when you're in the proper frame of mind. We'll put it one that taco. Way. I like the brownie, <laughs> but one taco. One taco. Very odd to me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rob, as Thanks, always. Uh, Rob's off tomorrow, so we'll see him next on Monday. Get your questions and comments in now if you want him to talk about a business, an issue, whatever it is. Facebook, Twitter, you got his handles there. You can always email him, too, at rob at robblack.com.